Hi, I'm Jan Freeman. I'm a professional artist and teacher. Welcome to my studio. I've been painting in Warwickshire for over 15 years. I have more than 50 students coming to my studio every week and I absolutely love to share my painting tricks with them. I also give workshops and demonstrations to other art groups throughout the UK. Here is an example of a task that I might set for a beginner watercolourist. Go into the red, nice and moist, and you do a nice W, shape of poppy petals like this, middle one slightly bigger, nice and wet paint. And then we clean our brush very carefully into the clean water, not too drippy, and we touch the paper and the paint at the same time and run that across, and it's creating an area where the paint can flow up into because the paper's now moist and it's creating a channel for the paint to flow up into. And the last one, here we go. And it's all flowing up nice and beautifully. Now, if you want to strengthen the colour of your poppy, just add some more paint into your palette and do what I call dobbing in and it will darken this area down here. And go into your green and as carefully as you can, coming up from the bottom of the paper, up into the poppy, and touch. And I'm now going to put the centre of the poppy in. You can't do this while the poppy is wet. Get some sandpaper and a watercolour pencil, and just grate it over that area. Blow, and there you've got a beautiful poppy. Of course, we'll be on a cruise ship exploring the world. So we might prefer to paint things that we come across on our voyage. For example, a series of windows and shutters, our own straw hats as we enjoy a beer on the harbour side, some colourful Caribbean shacks and beautiful Caribbean sea. If you are lucky enough to go to New York, you may want to catch those beautiful fall colours. Here are my tips on autumn leaves. This is the leaf demonstration and I've just drawn the leaf very quickly in pencil and I'm going to fill it in with the lightest colour that I see on the leaf which is a, a very light yellow and I'm going to do what I call dobbing in. <laughs> I don't know any other technical word for this but I'm dobbing in, thickening up my green paint and coming in where I see all the greens. Now it's not going to look exactly like the leaf but we're definitely going to get the feel of the leaf. And I'm going to put a darker brown on here now. You get a, a biro top, nice and sharp, and you draw the veins in by pressing into the paper, being very careful to observe how these veins go. Painting can be serious fun. There's nothing better than painting with pen and wash, and my students absolutely love this medium. You can paint several pictures in a small space of time. It's ideal for cruise ships. Let me show you how easy it is. You can have a pen which does not run and a pen which does run with water. And I like to use them both in my pictures. A nice exercise, I'm gonna use the pen that runs. It's good fun if you haven't used it before. I'm gonna do a nice little sailing boat. Now obviously the closer together, the darker the um, pen and wash will be. Now you can cross hatch, which means going the other way as well. Here I might add a bit of green. So I might come in with green and it's picking up that black here and creating a nice dramatic picture here. And you might want to create the idea, the feeling of some kind of speed in the water. Two minutes. One of my most loved workshops is quirky animals. Here are some mad cows. Here's Porky Pig and Man's Best Friend. We could do camels, tigers, elephants, penguins, whatever animals we come across on our journey. I carry a little sketchbook with me on holiday and if I have time, I might do a little pen and wash of things that take my fancy. I do hope you'll join me on a cruise and while away a few hours painting some wonderful memories of your holiday in watercolour or pen and wash.